In the Steelers' Week 6 Sunday night win over the Seahawks, following a second-quarter sack by Cameron Hayward, NBC color commentator Chris Collinsworth had some glowing praise for the 11-year defensive lineman. One of the great, great players and a no-question Hall of Famer in my mind. Add him to that list. It was a statement that got people buzzing, both positively and negatively. On its face, it may seem a tad bit ridiculous considering Hayward's late breakout but when you really look into it, it's not nearly as crazy as it seems. But even besides taking the conversation straight to Canton, this Collinsworth comment gave me the perfect opportunity to discuss something that I've been meaning to for quite some time. Cam Hayward is one of the most underrated players in the NFL, and he has flown under the radar for far too long. It's time to change that. He's been living in the shadow of Aaron Donald, who is perhaps the greatest defensive player in NFL history, despite performing at a relatively similar level. It may not seem like much, but for someone like Collinsworth to sing his praises in primetime, Hayward may now finally start to receive the national respect that he deserves. Hayward was the penultimate pick in the first round of the 2011 NFL Draft and he spent his first two seasons as a backup, rotating in behind Aaron Smith, Brett Kiesel, and Ziggy Hood. Then, by the time he finally earned a starting role, the Steelers' defense was no longer the force that its reputation may have suggested. Thus, it's no surprise that Hayward failed to receive much publicity for a decent chunk of his career. He enjoyed breakout seasons in the next two years, leading the team in sacks in both 2014 and in 2015 from his 3-4 end spot. However, a torn peck in his seventh game of the 2016 season slowed his upward trajectory. Nevertheless, he persevered and came back stronger than ever, a trait that you will find common throughout Hayward's career. Not only did he make his first Pro Bowl, but he was named first team All-Pro in 2017 as his 12 sacks were ninth most in the entire NFL and first among traditional defensive linemen. He had an elite 89.8 BFF grade, and his 62 pressures were third best at his position. He followed that spectacular season up with his second straight 80-plus PFF season, in which he was again top 5 in pressures in 2018. This led to his second consecutive Pro Bowl nomination. Despite hitting the age 30 threshold entering the 2019 season, Hayward somehow took his game to new heights once more. He had his first season with a PFF grade higher than 90, just behind Donald for the league lead, and he actually bested Donald's mark against the run. Hayward was fourth in pressures, and his league leading 44 stops were 12 more than Donald had. In Hayward and edge defender TJ Watt, the Steelers had two of PFF's top three graded defenders overall in 2019 a big reason why the team still won eight games despite the mess on the other side of the ball. Hayward's sacks dropped from 9 to 4 from 2019 to 2020, but this is why sacks never tell the full story. Hayward actually increased his pressures from 60 to 62, which was third best in 2020 among D-linemen. He was once again top 5 in PFF grading, as he deservingly made his fourth straight Pro Bowl. Now we get to 2021. Entering the season, there was a lot of talk regarding how much, or rather how little, time Hayward had left in the NFL, which was understandable. He was 32 years old, entering his 11th season playing one of the most physical positions in the sport. Nobody can last forever. Most assume he had two or three years left at most. However, Remember what I said before about Hayward always just pushing forward? One simply cannot doubt this wrecking ball of a man. Not only has Hayward continued his elite level of play thus far this season, but he once again has reached new heights. Through six weeks, his 92.3 PFF grade is a career high, and he's actually the top player at his position. For context, the last time someone other than Aaron Donald was number one was in 2014. Better yet, Hayward's grade is the best among all defensive players, and it's even tied with Tom Brady for the fifth best in the entire league. Talk about good company. Per usual, Hayward is getting it done in all facets of his game. Need a running back shut down? Hayward has the best run defense grade in the NFL and the fifth most stops among defensive linemen. Need to get to the QB in a hurry? Hayward has the sixth best pass rush grade at his position, and his 22 pressures rank him fourth. He and Max Crosby are the only players in the NFL to compile 12 or more pressures in a single game this season, as Hayward harassed Josh Allen relentlessly in Week 1 in one of the most surprising victories of the year. 
against Seattle, Hayward racked up his 60th career sack, which puts him fifth in franchise history since 1960. And we all know of the Steelers' vast history of legendary pass rushers. Additionally, what makes Hayward extra great is that even when he can't get to the passer in time, he still has a knack for making a play. He already has five batted passes this year, which is two more than any other defensive lineman. And Hayward is also one of just two D-linemen with at least 300 snaps played who haven't missed a tackle yet this year. Including his mark this year, Hayward, along with Aaron Donald, is one of just two defensive linemen with two 90-plus PFF grade seasons over the past three years. And with a little endpoint shifting to be fair to Hayward here, he has four elite seasons with a grade of 89 or better since 2017, second only to Donald's five. Chris Jones is the only other player with more than two such years. Assuming Hayward keeps up this high level of play, which there's little reason not to at this point, he will be a shoe-in for his third first-team All-Pro selection this year. Just 46 defensive linemen in NFL history have three or more such honors in their careers, and only 11 of the eligible players in that bunch are not currently in the Hall of Fame. Similarly, just 5 of 23 defensive tackles that meet that mark are not in Canton. So, to finally circle back, Collinsworth's proclamation on Sunday Night Football doesn't sound too crazy now, does it? Hayward would have a decent shot at the Hall if he retired today, and yet, as he's proven thus far this season, he's not even close to being done dominating. If he puts together another year or two or three where he continues wrecking offenses like he has this season, it will be very difficult arguing against Ironhead Jr. getting enshrined. As for right now though, I say we should all just finally start appreciating Cameron Hayward for what he is. He's an all-around terror on defense who is not even a single weakness. He's one of the best players in all of football, and he's only getting better with age.